warframe. Okay, I think I found the problem. That's been cut too short, hasn't it? And what they've done, they've tried to clamp it together, but that is completely apart from the What's happening everyone? It's a slightly different intro, because I've got Mr. Hamilton Plumbing Services, Mr. Mono Plumbing, and my little apprentice, and uh, we are just about to watch the Anthony Joshua and, what's the other guy's name? <laughs> I'm such a big boxing fan, not, but yeah, it's a big fight, so we're about to watch it. Anyway, I'm going to make this intro quick because they're literally doing the ring walk now. This is the valent job where the flu was disconnected and I had some comments people saying oh I made it up and I created this whole scenario. So this is the video to show that I didn't create this scenario, it found it how it was and you guys will see it all. Also at the end of the video there's, it's about three minutes long but I've done a real life scenario of me using Powered Now on the mobile phone app. So I'm doing a guess that I've cut it down a little bit but it just basically shows you how easy it is to use the app and how you can go through it. So if you want to spend three minutes at the end and watch it, give you an idea of how easy this app is to use, then great. I've left it to the end that way. If you're not interested in it, you can just end the video before it. Let's get on with it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. And let's hope that this is a good fight. Don't you just love when you come to a job and it's meant to be a straightforward job. It's meant to be a boiler service, full service on the boiler, which is absolutely fine. Got sent the data badge. It is a Valent 630R6. So I thought, yeah, it's gonna be, it's not that old, so it shouldn't be any problems. Give it a full service. They did tell me they're getting F54, F28, which is gas valve. So I brought one of those with me. Just come to have a look at the boiler. Literally, without, before I even took the case off, this is what I was met with. Rusty flu. And then when I took the case off, it gets even better or worse, depending on how you want to look at it. Yeah. <sighs> now I haven't really got time for this today. All right, and his customer's not here, he's at work, his wife's here. Just sent him pictures, told him, look, it's not a good start. Waiting for him to give me a phone call to discuss the next steps. We'll obviously do the service and then see what we can do about disconnecting the flu, etc. And checking the seals, see what's going on there. Now this, the blower kit, as expensive as it is, this is the sort of situations where it comes in proper handy because I'm working up in a loft. Rather than having to drain all this out, to keep taking it downstairs, Put the pump on and we've got a little waste pipe there so the hose just goes straight onto there and it's literally just pumped all the water out that's been draining into the little folding bucket wicked bit of kit for this sort of situation
so I've finished doing the service aspect of the boiler. Now I was gonna do my combustion analysis, get my analyzer out and everything, but there really isn't any point. And the reason why I say that is because this is probably gonna give me incorrect readings on there. So I need to actually sort this out before I can actually do my flue gas analysis. Because if we've got products of combustion mixing within the flue or within the air integrity and recirculating in here, if I'm then going trying to adjust the gas valve, I might be adjusting it wrong. So what I'm going to do, sorry for saying so again, I'll edit that out. What I'm actually going to do today, I've already explained to the customer that not to use the boiler, I've got to turn it off today because, oh, I can't bloody get the case on there, that's on now. There's a few other bits that I've picked up, so this obviously needs to be sorted. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to take this apart, inspect it, see what needs replacing. If it's just seals, then I'll come back with the seals and do that. If it needs any fluid extensions, then obviously we'll do that. I've also noticed the PRV is going because the pressure here was over three bar and they've got this dodgy filling loop here. This is actually the filling loop. So it's just a lever valve and a non-return valve here, but this is letting by. I've tried to sort of wiggle it about, but whilst I've been just working, that pressure's basically gone from zero up to two bar already. So I'm also gonna price into sort out a proper filling loop turn the stop cock off from here or wherever i think it's that stop cock at the back there take that off take that off and reduce it to 15 put in a proper filling loop and i've already got an external pressure gauge which is good and then also replace the prb when i come back as well so in terms of the service there isn't much more i can do today i'm going to take the fuel apart see what the situation see what the score is there and then take it from there really door frame okay i think i found the problem that's been cut too short hasn't it and what they've done they've tried to clamp it together but that is completely apart from the bloody hell how long has that been left like that for well it's going to be from insulation isn't it how they've managed to just get away with that is beyond me this sort of stuff is riddle reportable but we know that by riddling it it's not going to get anywhere so i can't even if it was just the seals i can't do that today i am going to need to get half a meter flue extension here cut that properly and then slot that back in i am still going to take this off and make sure that nothing else has been affected inside here there doesn't seem to be any leaks coming from up here which is good because it's a vertical flue don't want to be missing when I'm getting on the roof. It just looks like it's this section. So let me take the elbow off of the top there. And that as well looks like it's been fitted incorrectly because these are knuckle elbows. Let's take this off. There should be a small clamp on here, not this fat clamp. Let's see what's going on behind there. I was right. Look at that gap. Look at that gap. That's been like that since installation. Whoever's been sleeping in this room, no word of a lie, and this is not me exaggerating, this could have potentially killed someone. That's how dangerous this is. Can't believe people can get away with this stuff. Right, boiler's getting turned off, and got to come back and redo this section of the flue. Yeah, stickered, turned off until I can come back and sort that flu out. I'm not leaving that on for love nor money. That could potentially kill someone. That's not me exaggerating. That's not me being a jobs worth. That's me not just covering my backside, but covering the backside of the people who live here. Don't take chances, people. Don't do stuff like this. If you don't know what you're doing, leave it alone. Leave it to the people who do know what they're doing, but don't mess with people's lives. Seriously. Okay, so next job, got going to be replacing this Neff hob for Another Neff hob. You might remember this job. Been here a few times, so done some work on this boiler. I believe changed the canoe filter on this, cleaned out the PRV, and I replaced it some tatty old filter here, but put in a MagnaClean Pro 2 because, well, it's my favorite filter to fit anyway. So not doing any work on the boiler today. In fact, let's just pop that off because I've got to do a drop test then get this swapped out. I think they had some problem with some of the burners not working properly. 
I did try cleaning out the injectors last time. I can't remember which one it was, but they've um, went to basically just get replaced. So I'm going to do a drop test, double oven underneath it. So I need to get that out. No, wait, it's a single oven. That's fine. It makes it easier. It's double ovens, they weigh a ton. So this should be a little bit more easier to get out. Let's get cracking. Oven's out. We've got a gas cock there already, which is good. And that's okay. I've not seen that type of connection before though. It looks like it's reduced down to 10 mil, I think, into there. But it is a NEF for an F, albeit this is an old one. So I might be lucky. The pipework might line up. If not, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem to get it done anyway. We've got quite a big void on the back of this oven. This is one thing I always look for is you want to see what the void space is at the back of the oven because you want to make sure it's not going to hit any of the pipe work. So we know at the back of it, it's not hitting anything there. And we know where the elbow comes up, it's going to be coming over this. So we've got enough void space here to rerun any pipe work if we need to. We've got a single socket there as well, so that's all good. Let's get this one off. The gas is off at the moment. Disconnect that, remove it, get this unpacked, mock it up, see if the cutout's the same size as well. Let's see if we want to a winner after that last one. That's a good sign. The new hob fits into the same cutout as the old one. And what's even better, the pipe record lines up as well. So I've just got to change the fiber washer. That was on there. Pop that back on there. I've just mocked it up. I'm going to remove this now. Put the heat resistant seal around it. Pop that back into position. Do the connection up. I need to put a new plug top on that. I'll just take it off of the old hob. Pop that on there, make sure there's a three amp fuse in there, and then we should be good to go. Now this Nef hob, Nef Bosch, they make the same hobs. Really like their gas hobs because you guys know I love my cooking. If you haven't seen the cooking video, I'll put a link to it in here. Go and check it out. But this one, when you're cooking on gas, gives you individual adjustments for the flame control. Really, really good quality hob, this one. Nef and Bosch, they do the same sort of style one. Let's just get this all done, refitted, test it, and then we're out of here. Okay, we're live. It's all on. Just gas rating it at the moment. So yeah, I literally had to do nothing. Just chain the plug top on there, fit the new hob, and we're done. Let's see how long we've got left in the gas rate. Uh, another minute left. So let that finish. Do the gas rate, issue a certificate. And we're out of here. Nice easy one.